Germany's Chancellor Angela Merkel came out on top yesterday in the election. However, the anti-immigrant party made a big gain in the, in the parliament there. Joining us now, Ralph Peters, Fox News strategic analyst. Why should, why, why should we care, Ralph? I mean, it's an election over there in Europe and Germany's got the same chancellor again. Why should we care? What difference to us? Well, the difference is that our core alliance is with NATO. Economically, our, our trade with the EU and their trade with us and, and the general interaction of our financial markets is very, very important. But we also share a civilization. And Angela Merkel is the leader of European civilization, certainly at this point. So her win, even though her, the size of her win was diminished somewhat by a protest vote, itself a signal of how confident Germans feel that they can do a protest vote. Uh, it was good news for Germany, good news for Europe, good news for, uh, for us, bad news for Vladimir Putin. Do you, th you think it was good news for Germany, good news for Europe? Yes. It was Angela Merkel who opened the door to well over a million migrants, mostly Muslim, and they've had some significant problems ever since. The same is true of, because a lot of those migrants went all over Europe. You talk about there is one European civilization. I put it to you that that civilization is now very much divided. Well, I think there are certainly many different voices, but I think Europe's civilization has been a little more divided than, say, the 1930s and 40s or 19-teens. I mean, it, there are a lot of subcultures within that civilization. But Angela Merkel made a huge mistake uh, uh, when uh, just opening the door to a million immigrants. Uh, for her, it was a moral issue. She is a Lutheran pastor's daughter, and you've got to remember that when you analyze Anna Mer uh, Angela Merkel's moves. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, there was a protest vote uh, almost 13% went to this far-right party, which, by the way, is pro-Putin, anti-American, by and large, as well as anti-immigrant. Uh, and it will register. They'll be in the parliament now. You need to, they cross the 5% hurdle easily. So you're going to have a more raucous uh, German parliament. You're going to Angela Merkel's new uh, coalition won't be with the old uh, Democratic parties or the SPD, but it'll be probably with the Free Democrats, a business-friendly party, and the, probably with the Greens. Uh, Greens play a different role in Germany than they, they would here. Uh, and also, environmentalism is bigger across all party lines. The so bottom line is this. Angela Merkel means economic stability and relative political stability. And at the end of the day, the Germans voted for her. Uh, she still got by far the strongest party in the parliament. And uh, you got to respect that. I disagree. I think Europe is in endless terminal decline, turning into a large and divided museum. As Oswald Spengler said over a century ago. Did he? I don't know. <laughs> Did he? The decline of the West. Yeah. Well, you're the historian. I'm sorry. I don't go back that far. Uh, uh, I do want to ask you about the new travel restrictions now on eight different countries. Uh, quickly look at the countries. They include Venezuela, North Korea. Your reaction to this new travel ban or travel restrictions, I should say? Well, this is the much improved laundry detergent. Um, it's still not where it needs to be, but it, it showed a greater subtlety and sense. Well, where do you For think instance, it needs to be? Who, who? Well, I, I think it, because I think actually it needs to focus more on individuals and on more countries, not less. I, I would mm. tweak it a, 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 when it, regarding Iran. I tweak it because a lot of Iranian dissidents want to come here either for shorter or longer terms. But when it comes to a country like Somalia, which is on the list, man, absolutely, I, I would ban all travel from Somalia because it's so disruptive. So he added Chad, which is again in turmoil, can't vet their own people. Added Venezuela, but the Venezuela ban is primarily on government members and their families and their cronies. So again, I see it as improved. But we have a long, long way to go, Stuart, to have a sensible economic, uh, sorry, mi migrant policy, immigration policy that works for our economy, works for people, and works for our security. So I just think this is a start, not an end. Got it. Ralph Peters, always a pleasure. Thanks for joining us, sir. Thank Appreciate you, Stuart. It.